So it all started back in the spring of 2020 where I went turkey hunting. And that spring I went quite a bit. What happened was unfortunate kind of just because I didn't kill a turkey and I'll explain that. So I, you know, I go several times, several just not hunts that nothing happens. Let's fast forward to the last, the last day of the season. It was that morning and here comes a tom. You know, he comes in about 15 yards. My dad says, oh, there's a tom right there. He's in strut. And I put the gun out the window, doesn't even know I'm there. It's behind a stump. And I can see it's fan, and I can, as soon as I saw that head, I shot. And it didn't work out because that turkey did not die there. I'm, I must have hit the stump because, you know, that stump was right in the way, and I missed that turkey. How it's did you miss a but, turkey? You know what happened? stump? What do you mean, dude? You're not even supposed to be in this video. Get out. The first, so the first morning we go out, we go over a river and there's a piece of public that we parked on. We, we go in this old logging road, I believe it was. We just got out here, heading in the woods. So, see you guys when we get a turkey. And we get on this flat, didn't really hear much, we heard I think a few out in the distance. So about 30 minutes later we packed up and started going up the mountain even more. This Tom is on fire. He is going to every single call we give him.
that night, we go to a new piece of public, and it's kind of just this big knob, and there's a road that loops all the way around it, so we're just going to walk it, take the shotguns, just in case, and, you know, trying to get one to fire off, we just probably get close to a little over halfway, and, or three quarters of the way, whatever, I don't know, and, uh, probably it was at three or four times fire off and we have some birds located and um, they're roosted so we backed out got in the truck went back home and that was our game plan for that morning to go right there We start calling and they're right there, just gobbling, gobbling, gobbling. Probably for a good 10 minutes and then uh, they fly down. We keep calling, they, they seem to be getting a little closer. Was it probably 15 minutes of total, like just gobbling and hearing them from where I, when I shot. So, I don't know, probably 15 minutes later after just hearing them. We heard them the whole way up basically almost. I mean, you can see on the camera, I just turned on the camera and as soon as I turned it on, I tried to like put the camera where I could see the head of the turkey. I said, right here, right here, right here. And I literally grabbed the shotgun, turned on the camera, didn't really know if it was on it, and just shot. Like, put on the head and just shot right away. And I was like, oh no, I think I just missed because I didn't see it flop. And it's kind of like this this steep hill they were climbing up for to get to us. I didn't know if I hit it or not. I thought I missed. I was like, oh man, I, that sucks. Like. So he get, ends up, we get up, we hear him, and they, they take a kind of a lap, and they're still down there like 100 yards or whatever, 150 yards. I think he was getting ready to go down below and try to follow these strikes and try to cut them off. So I'd say fast forward another 20, 15 minutes, and that's when the, that's what he ended up doing. But before that, I go to where I shot the turkey, and, and I saw some feathers. I'm like, oh, I think I hit him. And I went to go. Well, after he went and like we lost track of where he was and the turkeys we didn't hear. Um, I went to go see if I got my turkey and he was down below, it fell down. And I was like, yes, I got my turkey. And I So for Austin, he goes up and he tries to cut them off and, and he actually did. I, I mean I wasn't there. He, so what he did is he just followed them and followed them and he didn't really hear them. 
I don't think, until they started crossing the road. He went back on the road and they started crossing and he saw him and he ended up shooting a Tom, like a really nice Tom. It was similar to mine, probably almost identical um, beard length and spur length as mine. And this is the story of my first turkey, so we have some photos of the turkeys that I'll show you in just a minute. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and smash that notification bell. And uh, yeah, let's uh, cue those uh, turkey photos.